I put on that jersey, just knowing that you know I'm playing for Buckeye Nation, playing for Ohio State. Um, you know, always remembering like how I watched them growing up. Um, so it's, it's been exciting. It's been fun. You know, I'm going into my fifth year, so I built some uh, really good relationships, had some good experiences, and I'm just blessed to be here for sure. Thanks, you guys. I just want a big smile on the <laughs> Thanks, guys. I told you I got you one back. Thank you. EJ, I was talking to Hunter, and he said that uh, Hunter Dickinson, and he said you guys talked and became friends at the G League Combine. Can you talk about the, that relationship a little bit? Oh uh, yeah, well, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I was a big fan of Hunter when we first played him. He was kind of setting hard screens on our cards and whatnot. But, uh, we went to the G League Combine, and we just hung out, had a couple meals together since we were on the same team. Never expected to be on the same team as uh, two two Michigan players at one time. So. Uh, yeah, he's a cool dude. Just sitting behind him. I mean, I mean, sitting with him, just getting to know him behind the scenes and whatnot. So, as when we talked to you last week, you were about to start practice. Coach Holman said you're six practices in. What has this looked like so far? Um, just a lot of competing, a lot of you know drill work, early preseason stuff. Um, just getting our feet under us, getting our wind under us a little bit more. Um, but you know, we're excited. We're really focusing a lot on defense. You know, I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit, but. Um, defense has been our mindset, and that's what we want our mindset to be throughout this year because, you know, we lacked it a little bit last year, and that's something, you know, we think for our success going into next, uh, well, the end of this year, um, it'll be important. Do you find you're, are, are you guys doing more, like, defensive drills? Is there more of a focus on defense than there was maybe at the same point last year? I guess last year was different, but. Uh, yeah, I would say so. I feel like um, we're focusing more on the details about defense. And, all the little things, so they don't let anything go by. Like if I stand up, get out of my stance on defense, they don't call it out. We don't do the drill over again. So just just little details like that. EJ, I saw you. You, I think it was on Instagram when you were on the cover of one of the preseason magazines. You said that's the first magazine cover you've been on. And, and Kyle, you were on another one of them. I mean, I'm not sure if you've been on one before or not. But, but for the two of you to to have. To, to, to see something like that, to think like, hey, we, we've paid our dues, we've spent our time, now we're faces of the program. Like, what, what does that mean to each of you? Um, it means a lot. I mean, like he said, it was his first time. He was excited about it. It was the same for me. Just kind of, it's like a thing when you're younger, growing up. It's like you see all the NBA players, stuff like that, you know, college players being on there. And it's a surreal feeling once you see yourself on there because something you've dreamt of, you know, just being recognized and, and getting to the position we are today. So. Uh, I think we're both, you know, super blessed to be um, on those covers. Yeah. EJ, what was it like for you to see that? Uh, it was really cool. It was, it was honestly really cool just seeing my face on the magazine. Uh, I've always wanted to be on one. I hope I'm, hope I'm on a lot more. Uh, but uh, I know I sent, sent it back home to my family. I didn't keep that one. I know they want that to put in my uh, little scrapbook they have of me. So. EJ, you're the first Ohio State first team All League player to, to come back in like a decade. Most guys, when they get to that point, they're, they're going somewhere else. What does it mean for you to have this chance to, to be a, to have a legacy, to, to really cement yourself as, as an Ohio State guy, you know, when, when a lot of guys in your position don't don't come back? Uh, I, just, I just love this university. And I love the program that we have, and I love the guys around the program as well. So I feel like I could come back and make more and build off what we had last year, honestly. So uh, I feel like that was also what was best for me at the time. EJ, how much is the, the feedback you got from the, the NBA process and the G League process and everything like that, how much is that going to change your game this year in terms of offensively and just on the court there? Uh, I feel like you guys will see me on the perimeter a little bit more, but um, it's not going. I'm not a different player than I was last year. Uh, I just felt like I improved on the things that I was good at and just got better at those. What's the number one thing that you're looking to really show, like scouts and people at the next level? Uh, just my defensive versatility, uh, switching on guards, guarding guards, and just having an opportunity to show I can guard everyone. How much different is the field this year for you guys having so many seniors on the team, like nine seniors? Is that is that a weird dynamic, and what's that like? Uh, we do have a pretty old team, but uh, it's just it's it's good because everybody wants to win. I feel like they all went through their college processes. And, um, Everybody's here to win, all fifth year guys. We got, I think we have two six year guys. Two. Yeah, I just feel like they want to win, so this uh, team has a lot of that. Are guys like Jamari and you know transfers like that able to come in and be leaders right away because they do have you know years under their belt, even though they're new at Ohio State? Yeah, for sure. I mean, guys lead with their actions, and you guys know uh, how much Jamari Wheeler is, like, is one of the best defenders like in the Big Ten in the past year. So, I mean, he leads with his actions, and he really gets after it every day in practice. 
How much have uh, Zed Key and, and uh, Michi improved from you know year one to year two? What that one? Mm -hmm. oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, Michi Johnson's really good. I mean, he learned off of guards like last year. Dwayne and CJ just under their wings, and I feel like that extra year of experience really is going to help him out. And uh, Zed Key, as well as him, just learning the Big Ten, learning everything. Uh, just like me, from my freshman year to my sophomore year, I made a jump, and I see both of those guys uh, making a jump. So. Coach Holtman said at the podium earlier that this is the toughest non-conference schedule he's had as a coach. Uh, there's a lot of marquee teams you guys are going to face. Do you look forward to that? Do you see it as a challenge? How do you guys view kind of the non-conference getting you ready for Big Ten? Yeah, um, you know, having a non-conference schedule that's going to be tough like that is, is exciting because, you know, it's going to make us better. And as, you know, competitors, you, you want to play – good teams you want to be challenged um, so for us it's exciting you know we're excited to get into that and hopefully show it, how much better we've got and you know where we can go this year. Is there one game in particular either of you are looking forward to the most in that non-conference Uh Not really I just know my birthday is uh, going to be in Las Vegas when we play Kentucky so on that day so looking forward to that birthday game. Kyle, you mentioned it at Media Day, like taking some, some working on your leadership. I think you said you maybe were taking some courses or reading some books. Can, can you expand a little bit on, on some of that? Um, yeah, I mean, when I was talking about the courses, it was more so for my sport management uh, master's program. We have a few classes that's leadership based. Um, we listen to a lot of different coaches talk and stuff like that. So um, I was able to get, you know, viewpoints from multiple different sports, you know, it was on campus and other people like with books like John Wooden and all that stuff. So. Um, with this year, you know, with, with just leadership in general, I'm working on, you know, being more vocal, um, you know, helping younger guys out, um, vocal on and off the court, meaning, you know, like in huddles and everything. So um, it's just a step, you know, I think I'll need to take, um, to, you know, take a little bit more control. Um, you know, me and EJ take more control of the team. Is there a coach that, or a player or someone like you, you, you talk about here from these, some of these different voices, any that have really rung really true with you or any that, that you really gravitated toward? Um... Nobody specific, I would mention, but, um, you know, there's been a few different books. Um, you know, everyone has different, um, like I said, everyone has different viewpoints. Everyone has different techniques. I've just kind of worked on, you know, hearing them and then finding my own way, um, which is what I think you need to do as a leader. So um, I'm trying to, you know, incorporate that into practice, um, you know, with how we're doing stuff, especially, you know, defensively. That's something, like I told you, we were focusing on. So just being more vocal is the main thing for me right now. EJ, how have you seen him handle that? I've seen Kyle talk more than I ever have, honestly. I mean, Kyle's just personality is kind of like more playing, just a little more laid back, but I see him being more vocal. Uh, same with Justin Owens. I just see, see guys uh, taking leadership and just taking bigger steps and being more vocal. What does it mean to you guys to be here, just representing Ohio State at this event? Uh, it means a lot, like like we were talking about earlier, um, just to be in the position we are now. You know, I'm a fifth year, so um, being here this whole time at Ohio State, you know, you build a, a trust with the coaches, a trust with the guys, um, and, you know, well, obviously has a good trust in us. So, you know, to, for us both to be here today is a blessing, and we're just excited to be here.